Hey guys, I was driving on my way to the property and I see this guy on the side of the road. This is a common snapping turtle, not an alligator snapping turtle. I am gonna put him into the turtle pond for now. They still have super strong jaws and they do have a really fierce bite on them. Pick him up. He's scary, look at that. If you ever handle these guys, they do have salmonella, so you do want to wash your hands after. We'll put them back here, and then we'll move them to the turtle pond. I got the turtle. We're going to go take him to the pond. I made it out to the turtle pond. Here is Mr. Turtle. These guys actually do get along with red-eared sliders, which are the native turtles that I'm used to feeding. I've seen videos of people feeding these guys as well, so hopefully I can do that with him one day. It would be awesome to have him crawl up on the bank with the other turtles and me hand feeding him a shad. He is being pretty calm now. Common snapping turtles are mainly scavengers, but they also eat live fish and crawfish as well. We had a lot of rain yesterday and I think he got lost in the water flowing somewhere and I'm glad I found him. I'm gonna try to move him over to the pond and get him swimming. There he is. He's trying to bite me. Come on. There we go. He likes it in the water. And he is swimming off. That is cool. Hopefully I'll see him again soon. I've actually always wanted to get a pet snapping turtle. I think they're really cool prehistoric creatures. It won't be long until I start putting some red-eared sliders and other turtles in here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that snapping turtle. Any name ideas you'll have, I would love to hear in the comments. Now I'm going to head back and feed my pet alligator gar in their pool for the last time. Here I am with my pet alligator gar. Let's see if they're hungry. Here's Brazos. You got the little shed. They're not too hungry today. We just had a cold front move in, so that might explain it. Phantom is chilling in his usual spot. He has not been eating much lately just because of the cold. He has not been too active. A lot of times when they're cold, they'll do what Brazos is doing and just kind of nudge the shad with their nose but not eat it. Oh, there he goes. He grabbed one. Gulp. Brazos got another one. As y'all can tell, they are not feeding very well. Gar do not like the cold and they pretty much shut down their feeding for most of the winter. The next video that y'all will see me make with this Gar are moving them out to their new pond. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. I will see y'all next time.